Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing this fine Saturday morning? So, I'm doing all sorts of stuff, prepping for my book launch. And um, I got this package in the mail yesterday. I thought it'd be fun to kind of go open it up and take a look at it. I haven't opened it yet. It's uh, definitely still a, um, hey Birdseye. Um, it's definitely still a uh, unopened package, but hey, I thought it'd be cool to kind of pop it open, take a look, kind of compare it to the previous books. Um, if anybody is not aware, um, this is the reveal for the uh, cover, basically, and the, the print proof of my um, of my uh, Lovecraftian urban fantasy uh, series, The Bell Forging Cycle. This is book three, and book three is called Red Lidden World, um, and it's kind of a return to form uh, after the last book, which is Old Record Road, which is right there. I'm kind of organizing stuff this morning and doing a bunch of kind of prep work. So um, what do you say we open this up and take a look? Um, so, yeah. I love the ease of packaging here. So, the, the reveal. Um, this is my biggest book yet. Comes in about 400 pages. Spine. Um, kind of see. It. Uh, really proud of how this turned out. Um, it's a. It looks absolutely fantastic. Um, I've spent a lot of time really working on the interior layout of it. Uh, the title, Red Litten World, let's just go ahead and do that. It comes from a, a quote from uh, Lovecraft's uh, story, The Mound. Um, it had come from a mysterious realm beneath the Red Litten World, a black realm of peculiar sense beings which had no light at all, but which had great civilizations and mighty gods. Um, each of the books in the series, the intent was always to... Uh, use a Lovecraft quote to kind of pull the title from. Stars Are Right is obviously the most, um, I'll grab one of them. Stars Are Right is the first one. Uh, it's kind of the most obvious because it comes from Call of Cthulhu. Uh, I deviated from that. Like I live, I set up these rules for myself and I immediately deviated from it. Um, in Old Broken Road, it has its own kind of thing, but the pattern going forward will be to kind of continue the, uh, the Lovecraftian title so yeah um the cover design uh was done mainly by me the lettering was done by a guy named john contino who's an incredibly talented uh illustrator and uh custom letterer he just hit the ball out of the park he always does um he's done it he's done uh, work for the previous two books as well um absolutely love his work uh there's some cool illustration stuff happening on the inside a uh, fun fact these little uh, these little glyphs that appear and they're different in each book uh they actually come from sketches from lovecraft himself um, so yeah, but let's see if I can find, oh yeah, some of the star, these little stars that are, I use these for chapter breaks. Uh, those are done by an illustrator by the name of, uh, Sean Comiskey, who's based out of Atlanta. Um, man, I really love how this turned out. It's just nice and smooth here. We can kind of compare it to Old Broken Road. Uh, Red Litten World is the longest of the series. Old Broken Road so far is the shortest. Um, uh, so yeah, you can kind of see the difference thickness wise. Look fantastic. You can see the two glyphs on the bottom. Um, different glyphs for each book. Uh, Stars Are Right, of course. Let me grab it. Stars Are Right has the uh, the elder sign there on the far far right, and then Red Litten World in the middle, and then, yeah, so pretty stoked about that. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time on it, just because I don't want to, like, reveal too much, but, like, there's something in the back that's a little a bit of a surprise. You kind of glance at it real quick for uh, those people who get the... Um, the paperback. So, if you get the paperback book, there's a little bit extra in there that doesn't happen to in the uh, in the ebook. Uh, let's see. Uh, Red Lit World is launching October 6th, so a few weeks away. Um, it's going to arrive on ebook and paperback. Um, you can find out more about Red Lit World at redlitworld.com. The series is the Bell Forging Cycle. Uh, Bellforgingcycle.com will take you there, and you can kind of see about like all the books and that sort of stuff. So, yeah, pretty pleased. Uh, it looks absolutely gorgeous. I I couldn't be happier. I mean, this is... I've really spent a lot of time making sure that there's not a lot of, uh, like, uh, widows and orphans, just like weird little typographical issues that always bother me. Um, I've gone through this so many times. <laughs> I'm going to do it again, um, just to make sure. But, yeah, it turned out absolutely phenomenal. Like, yeah, this is, this is more than I could have expected, so... Yeah, I'm all nervous and excited, kind of just seeing this sort of stuff. So, yeah, looks 
is fantastic. Thanks, man. I'm really, I'm excited for it too. I, uh, um, it's, it's been a long time coming and so I'm really glad to get this out there. Um, can't wait to kind of share it with everybody. But yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, end. Uh, you can find out more about me by visiting my website, which is, uh, kmalexander.com. Um, and my blog, I blog at blog.kmalexander.com. So thanks everybody for tuning in. Uh, appreciate everybody's, uh, interest. It's always fun. All right. Have a good day.